We all know what happened on September 11, 2001. If you're just joining us, the, the breaking story that we're following out of New York City, two separate planes crashing into the World Trade Center, um, the rescue operations underway. Millions of Americans watched as the attacks unfolded live. Oh my goodness, we're looking at a uh, live picture from Washington and there is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. And you can see the two towers, a huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way! We've spent the two decades since trying to make sense of that day's tragedy. In the years after, the media, the government, and law enforcement pieced together answers. We know, of course, who was behind the attack, and we can all see how it changed our world. Our war on terror begins with Al-Qaeda, but it does not end there. It will not end until every terrorist group has been found and defeated. But now, on the 20th anniversary of the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil, what do we not know? What questions still linger? And which answers don't add up? Who knew about the attack and when? Explosive claims from the man known as September 11th's, quote, 20th hijacker. Did some know an attack was coming and not stop it? Your government failed you. Those entrusted with protecting you failed you. Where was United Airlines Flight 93 actually headed? It was a garbled radio call, but it was something to a effect of keep planes away from the White House. And who gave the order to shoot it down? That's a presidential level decision, and the president uh, made, I think, exactly the right call in this case. I'm Garrett Graff. I've spent a decade reporting on the events of 9-11, its tragic legacy, and its impact on our country and our security. I'll help you find answers on Long Shadow, my podcast about the lingering questions and enduring mysteries of the September 11th terrorist attacks. Coming this August, produced by Longlead and Goat Rodeo.